Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, and in this edition of Nerd's Guide to the Galaxy, we're talking about QuickBooks Online, how to add your accountant in seven easy steps. I probably could have done this in like three, but I wanted to be very specific and detailed, especially for the sake of those of you who may be totally unfamiliar with QuickBooks Online. So if you're looking at my screen here, you'll see that I'm logged into what is called QuickBooks Online Accountant. And what this does is it lists my firm, or you'll, I'll explain in a second why I have several firms here. And you'll see that over where it says, I have to scroll up a little, accountant company. So these are accounting firms. And you'll see I've got one for my clients. So all my clients go in there. And I've got another one for my, in, for my own firm's accounting. I like to keep them separate. It happened years ago sort of by accident. But then I said, you know what, I like that. I like the idea that my own firm's accounting is separate than all of my clients. Uh, and then this Seth's Advanced Accounting is a sample QuickBooks Online Advanced, uh, well, a sample firm with a QuickBooks Online Advanced company in there. So uh, into it, my friends there helped me set this up so that I can use it to make videos and so on and so forth. Down here, you'll see, and I've got uh, six of them hidden. Um, these are companies where the they added me as a regular user instead of an accountant user which creates a problem from my perspective because it makes it harder to switch from one client to the other. Which, By the way, quick side pro tip, if you are a business owner with two or more companies of your own, each in their own QuickBooks Online company, uh, you should set up QuickBooks Online accountant, even though you're not an accountant, but it makes it much easier to switch between your own companies. Um, it, not that it's that hard to do anyway, but um, it's like a little bit less friction in the process when you do it this way. So the first step to add your accountant is you're going to log into your company. To illustrate this, I'm going to go into my client list, which is where I have some sample companies. And this is what I mean about the easy switcher. I get this drop down. There's Bulletproof Bookkeeping, which is in the most recent. So get logged into your company. At this point, your screen is going to look something like this if you're the business owner, you know, looking at this, trying to do this for your own accountant. And we're going to click the gear icon way up here at the top right. And we're going to go to manage users. Okay, so we're so step one is log in. Step two, click the gear icon. Step three, manage users, right? We're already at step three here. And what's important to notice is when you get here, there's two, you know, I call these tabs at the top, right? So this is for all the regular users. I'll explain why I'm here um, in a minute. What you'll want to do if you're here to add your own accountant is click on accounting firms, and then you'll click invite. Okay, and from here, it couldn't be easier. You enter the first name and the last name, and never mind my dash lane pop-ups. Uh, and make sure that the email you have for them is the email that is associated with their QuickBooks Online accountant firm. Uh, you know, some people these days have like six different email addresses. So before you do this, make sure you've confirmed that you have the exact right email to use. As soon as you fill this out and click save, they will get a notification letting them know that you've added them as their accountant and then they will be taken through a process where they can confirm which of their firms, if they have more than one, they want to, um, you know, accept that invite in. Um, and, uh, and again, it has to be the one associated with the email address that you used in the invite. So when this happens, you'll see, for example, if this was a client of mine, I will show up here, okay? I will show up as the primary admin here under users if, in fact, I was the one who created the uh, company in the first place. That's likely to happen. If the company's already been established, and let's say you are the business owner and you are the primary ad admin, your accountant won't necessarily be, nor do they necessarily have to be, right? That's up to you if you want to make them primary admin. Other question that comes up on here is as far as like roles and levels of access. The accounting firm is its own role and level of access. Essentially, accountants need access to everything so that they can access all areas of your books and do everything they need to do to do the job that you've hired them for. So uh, for another day, I'll do a video explaining when you're adding users, there are different roles you can assign. And of course, depending which version of QuickBooks Online you've paid for, um, if you have QuickBooks Online Advanced, you have much more robust uh, features in terms of defining different roles and based on that, what people do and don't have access to. If you're in any other versions of QuickBooks Online, you have some limited kind of predefined roles and you can go through them and determine what people have access to. So on your own, you can click add user and browse those options. But again, as far as adding an accounting firm, that's all you need to know. Log into your QuickBooks Online company, click the gear icon at the top right, 
click Manage Users, and then you'll go over to the Accounting Firms tab, and you'll click Invite. You'll fill out the brief little form first, last, and email, and click Save, and your accountant will be notified. And then you'll get a confirmation once they have, in fact, gone through the process of accepting your invite, which means, of course, that they now have access to uh, your firm in their list that's equivalent to mine here where I can access, I can switch between companies in the drop down. Now, um, I mentioned earlier that um, there were a couple of companies that added me as a regular user instead of an accounting firm. The reality is in these cases it was because you're limited to only two accounting firms. The idea is you have a bookkeeper and you have whoever's preparing your taxes, right? So you need two. And in these cases they had um, an outsourced bookkeeper, and they also had somebody doing their taxes. They're inviting me to be their sort of acting CFO or what have you. So there just wasn't another accounting user available. If that happens, or for any reason, you know, somebody, if you're the accountant now that I'm talking to, and somebody has added you as a regular user, to switch, you'll have to click here and choose switch company. And that, of course, takes you out to this main sort of admin console. And that's where you'll be able to access the QBO companies, which, again, these are the ones that didn't add me as an accountant. They just added me as like an admin user. And if this does come up, you know, you'll want to make sure if you're the business owner that you do add them as an admin user so that they have full access and rights. Otherwise, you'll likely be limiting them from having access to something that they will need access to. So save the trouble and the friction of that back and forth. Just add them as an admin user and all will be well. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, my friends, how to add your QuickBooks Online accountant in seven easy steps.